Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a park bench. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, uh, you will see the new animation that I'm creating. Well, the behind the scenes, the blocking out anyway. Um, so yeah, so let's get cracking on and get this underway. So this is gonna be a standard park bench. Um, so we're just gonna start with a cube and we just scale it on down probably gonna need um, probably 0 0.15 0 point, oops 0 0.15 um, and then probably around about 0.5 maybe one meter high Okay, let's just see if we can turn these on. And then that's our leg. Shift D on the X. It's gonna move that back a bit. Might need to make it a little bit higher. And then we'll just select both of these. Shift D on the Y. So I guess we're gonna be Probably going to be maybe two meters across. Probably going to fit maybe two to three people, maybe. I don't know. Let's just grab one of these. Shift at D on the Y. Let's just rotate on the X by 90 degrees. Um, on the Z there, we are going to... I know, on the... Air uh, Y, I think, it is going to have a 0 0.025, maybe 0 0.0. There we go, that's better. And then we'll just have it like 3 meters. I mean, that's not too bad, is it? We'll just bring those in a bit, like so. So, this is going to be what the bit that you sit on. So, it'll be about here. And we're also going to do a shift D on the X. And then we're going to rotate on the X by 90. Rotate on the Z by 90. And these are going to be the back bits of the back. They're probably going to be about... 0.9 so these are kind of going to be here I think we need to move all this over so these parts are going to be there maybe angled back a little bit it needs might need to be brought in a bit like here so these we can do an array on the X so we need a gap in between so we say 1.25 no, that's not bad but we're going to do a minus and then we're going to have I think yeah something like that I mean it does look a bit big actually so if we just take that and go 0 0.05 say it's still quite no, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. And then these ones here, we're going to do an array on here. Um, 
on the so we want one point one point five one point seven five. Let's see what that does. Whoops. <laughs> we'll just do eleven, but we'll just bring it back a bit like that. Stuff it needs to go back a little bit. Okay. And then we need to um for the shift D on the Z but this one we don't we just want to get rid of that rotate on the Y by 90 so this bit here is going on there on the top there so obviously we need to rotate that as well what degrees are these where's our rotation 170 There we go. So there's that. I think we need to make these uh naught point naught point naught two five like that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. And then these here, or this one here, I think these are like maybe a little bit too thick. So 0 0.1 by 0 0.1. I think that looks more in a line with what we're doing. 0 0.1 by 0, oops, 0 0.1. And then again, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. We're looking good there, and then these here. So, if we edit that one and that one, I'll just select the faces, which is number three, and then we're just going to move those down to probably there. And then what we want to do is just angle that going to go to normal and then just extrude on the X like so I think it comes up a little bit higher like that yes yeah, so I'm cool with that um, and then we need another one of these shift D on the X rotate Y 90 and then bring that up to there and then these puppies here so array apply now we can do it so this one, this one, this one, and this one, we want to do control plus just to select all the faces. And then we want to P selection. And then we just want to set those in the middle. These ones here, we need to bring out to the end. And then the same here, we're going to copy that shift on the Y I need that there and then we want this one we want these to come out here like so so we're cool with that Uh, maybe we didn't need that end one. Okay, control, and then we need to delete faces. Okay, and then we can just bring that in. Just select the end. 
bring it in to about there and then we can bring this in as well let's get it back to global and just bring it on in like that and then this one we can just duplicate go back into normal duplicate on the X up there we just need to like that okay and then we need this one here to shift D on the X but we just need to make it a bit thinner and then do the same actually what do we do that to 0, 0.0 oh, let's just say 0 0.05 0 0.05 and then this one shift D on the X um, then we want not five so it gives us that and then we want the arm bits so we can duplicate those shift D on the E and Z on the, on the X like so and then we can just edit both of those just pull that out like so and then just grab that one and that one and pull that in so we've got the arms. Um, and that's basically our park bench. So we can probably just bring that in slightly. And then on those we can just angle that a bit better. Just bring that on in like so. go I'm really happy with that and then what we can do now is shift select those control a to all transformations and then what we're gonna do is if we select edges so we can select all of those all of those maybe those as well and then control B to give it a nice little bevel cheeky little bevel crank up the uh, segments so I'm quite happy with that and then if you wanted to you could sort of give it some form of shape Maybe you could bring it down, but we're not going to. This is like a park bench, a public park bench. Let's just chuck that out a little bit. Objects at origin to geometry. Just shove that over a bit. Maybe what we need to do is that needs to be maybe 0.5. Oh. 0.2, 0 0.15. Ugh, maybe 0.11. Yeah, that'll do. 0 0.11. 0 0.11. Just so it's a little bit wider than the armrest. And then we can just give it some material. I'm just going to quickly save. So I'm quite happy with that. That's the park bench. That's the park bench for the animation. In fact, maybe let's just do Control A, all transforms. Just select those ones and those ones, and then go to Control B. Yeah, just do a shade smooth normals 
There we go. Yeah, that is actually not bad at all. So that's our part bench done. Hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget, if you do like the video, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe to the channel, and don't forget, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Ta-da for now.